Hey everybody, this is Sean Pitcher, your local dietitian out of Atlanta, Georgia, coming at you again. Today we have another snack recipe coming your way. Uh, so for our snack, what we're going to be making is one, pretzels, and we'll be covering those in melted peanut butter. You could also do a melted dark chocolate, and then I'll talk about some different toppings that you can stick or sprinkle on top of those. Uh, but before we get started, we have to ask, you know, what are your ingredients and what are things we're going to buy at either the grocery store, Amazon, Target, um, that you will need to be able to make these items or this snack specifically. One, you're going to need some parchment paper. Parchment paper, I don't think I'll ever go back to anything besides this. Um, this has been something my mom recommended. You can pretty much put anything on it. It's not going to stick and it allows you to take things off of it very quickly and easily. So you're not having to scrape stuff off the pan. You're going to need something nice and hard to, and in this case, we're going to be smashing some almonds with. Um, you can use a rolling pin, which I'm going to use today. You can use a pan. Um, something that's going to be hard and stuff that you can basically smack on top of the almonds to break them into little pieces. A couple things you could use here. Um, I'm going to be putting the peanut butter in this glass. The reason I'm doing that is because you can see these sticks are long and they're about the same size as this glass. So when I put the peanut butter here and I melt them and swish them around, it's going to make it a lot easier than something that's going to be smaller or more wider. Uh, we're also going to need a spoon so you can scoop out the peanut butter from the jar and then you have your plastic bag which I'm going to put the almonds in. Now ingredients, we have peanut butter. Again, you can use dark chocolate chips which you can melt as well in your cup. You can do peanut butter and dark chocolate chips. If you have a peanut allergy, you can use sunflower butter as well as, a, as another option if you can't do any nuts or seeds. If you can't do nuts, Again, you could do sunflower butter and sunflower seeds or a chia seed and flax seeds as well. Um, today we're going to use almonds. So we got our pretzels. We have our natural peanut butter. I have a little bit of honey that I'm going to drizzle on top when I'm done at the very end. And then today the nut that I chose was almonds. You could do cashews, you could do peanuts, you could do pistachios. Again, trail mixes, whatever nuts that you essentially want. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my peanut butter and I'm gonna get a couple big gobs of peanut butter into my glass here. Again, you want enough peanut butter so when you're looking inside of the jar, or in this case, this cup, hopefully it fills about halfway up. And what I'm gonna do with this peanut butter is I'm going to put it in the microwave and we're gonna melt it for at least 60 seconds. Again, you want it nice and gooey so when you stick the pretzel stick in there, it's gonna coat the entire pretzel stick um, at one time. So, I'm gonna throw that in the microwave for one minute. Okay, while that's going, next thing I'm gonna do is I have my plastic bag. So I'm going to tear open my almonds. This is an individual pack. If you like individual packs, you can do that, or you can get the big canister as well. Whatever works best for you. Sometimes these are a pain to butt to open, so you gotta finagle them a little bit. I'm gonna pour those almonds in there. Okay, make sure you press the bag against you so we get all the air out. All right, now make yourself a little space. Sometimes it can get a little crazy when you're, you're banging the heck out of this. So I have my rolling pin. Make sure your bag is flat and you're just gonna come down on your almonds nice and hard. Again, whatever texture you want, that's what you're gonna get it to. It could be thick pieces, it could be really small pieces. Um, sometimes I've had people as well, if you want it even finer than this, you could also put it in a food processor and break it up a lot easier. That's something you could do too. Let's go ahead and get my peanut butter. All right, so I got my peanut butter all nice and melted. Some gooey deliciousness, all right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you just a couple. Um, I'm obviously not going to do like a, a bunch of different pretzel sticks because that's going to take a super long time. I'll finish these up after I'm done. So you can see I have my pan already set and ready before I start this with the parchment paper on top of it because I want to be able to make sure as soon as I melt this and start the pretzel making, it's a very fast process. Now when you're done with these pretzels so that the peanut butter can set on them, you can either put them in the fridge and have them sit in there for about, let's say 20 to 30 minutes. If you want more of a frozen treat, you can also stick these after they've cooled 
in the fridge or on the countertop, you could also stick them in the freezer and then you could have that as another option too. Again, you kind of have the saltiness with the pretzel and you kind of have a little bit of the sweetness with the honey and then you have that nice creaminess with the peanut butter. So I'm just gonna tilt my cup at an angle. I'm gonna put my pretzel stick in there, all right? I got it nice and gooey and all I'm gonna do is I'm placing that on the parchment paper. Going back for another one, angle that up, get it nice and coated. If you want the whole entire thing coated, you're gonna have to dip the whole thing in. I'm just leaving myself, as you can see, a little bit of room for my fingers, so that way I can make sure I have enough room. Just do one here, one more here for you. Again, let all that excess peanut butter drip off. Now, if you're a person you said, man, I wanna eat this right now, and you like your peanut butter nice and warm, you can do it right now. I mean, honestly, it's really up to you. Um, I'm not gonna be the one to tell you what to do in that case. I'm always gonna be the guy that's gonna give you a lot of different options and you can kind of mix and match however you want. All right, so I just have three peanut butter sticks right here, right? I got a lot more than I'm gonna make um, after we're done. But first thing I'm gonna do is, you know, if I were to make a lot of these, which I will be, you're gonna basically have a whole entire tray of peanut butter sticks. Now again, toppings you can stick on. It could be nuts, it could be seeds, it could be trail mix, you could do honey, which I'm gonna do on these three right now. Chia seeds, flax seeds, um, you know, if you like a little bit of crushed up M&Ms or something fun like that for the kids, um, you could do that too. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna do some honey and I'm gonna sprinkle some of these almonds on top. Again, you wanna do this very quickly because as the peanut butter starts to set, right? You want the almonds and some of the stuff you're gonna stick on top to stick. So you have to be very quick and precise with this. All right, so got my honey upside down. I'm just gonna give it a light little drizzle. Boom, good there. And then I have my almonds. All right, you can get really close up to the stick and throw your almonds on top. Or you can do a little salt bay action and sprinkle from the top there, uh, whatever you enjoy. I'll do a couple more here, and then I'll give you a little salt bay from the top, because everybody likes that. So again, here is our finished product. So these are peanut butter covered pretzels with a honey drizzle and some crushed almonds on top. Again, salt, sweet, creamy, and again, very great snack because you're getting some nice, good carbohydrates from the pretzels. You're getting some healthy fats from the peanut butter and the nuts. And um, nuts are also a good plant-based protein option as well that you could do. Hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you enjoy uh, try this back at your apartment, your dorm, your house. Um, again, if you want to listen to the Roots podcast, um, if you want to watch this video on Instagram or YouTube, if you want to hit up and look at my website of nutritional services that I offer, all you have to do is go down into the bio below, I have my link tree address, or you can hit up my IG and my link tree uh, link is right there. You just press it and it takes you to all my different stuff. Hope you guys enjoy.